Assalamu alaikum. Peace be unto you. The title of this video is GBP USD. What I'm looking at on GBP USD is as of right now a side trend or a channel pattern where you have equal highs such as this one here and that one there and equal lows such as this one here this one here and that one there okay with price ranging like this um i don't like to trade primarily because I could enter the trade here on this support bounce on a lower time frame. Like the one out one hour time frame. Where you have price trending upward now. Draw this trend line from here. To here you see that it's trending upward. And. <clears throat> set my take profit at. Um, resistance. Which is this line that I drew in. On the daily time frame, it's just that I don't see if I can get my chart back looking right. Perfect. It's just that I don't like to trade on the lower time frames. And I don't like the trade where market is ranging like this or is moving sideways like this. I myself, before entering this trade, either long or short, would wait for a break of support. Which is what you have here. Let me make a note. A break of resistance, which is what you have here. And wait for price to either create a lower low Pull 
back. To test old support. react to this level through a long wick candle back to test old support react to the level through Perhaps a long wick candle stick uh, get confirmation that the trend will continue downward then enter the trade short and set my stop loss and take profit. <laughs> Pull back to test old support. React to the level through perhaps a long wick candlestick. Get confirmation that the trend will continue downward, then into the trade short and set my stop loss and take profit. Or I will wait for price to break through resistance, which is what we have here. back I mean uh, create a higher high
like the old resistance. react to it guru perhaps a long wick candle stick wait or perhaps a bullish engulfing candlestick <laughs> then I'd enter the trade long set my stop loss and take profit okay remember I will wait for price to Breakthrough resistance, create a higher high, pull back to old resistance. React to it through perhaps a long wick candlestick. Wait for perhaps a bullish engulfing candle. Then I'd enter the trade long. Set my stop loss and take profits. That is how I <coughs> would trade GBP USD. With um, price ranging right now, meaning it's going up and down between the levels of 1.19002 and 1.21002. I will wait for price to either break through support, create a lower low, pull back to test um, old support, react to it through perhaps a long wick candlestick, wait for confirmation that the trend will continue downward through perhaps a bearing engulfing candle. Then I'd enter the trade. Set my stop loss slightly above the highs of the pullback at old resistance. And my take profit at um, this key level of support or the weekly time frame. Since in the past, price did react to this level and take off from there. Or, let's go back to the daily. I'd wait for price to break through resistance. Create a higher high. Pull back to old resistance. 
react to it through perhaps a long wick candlestick, wait for confirmation through perhaps a bullish engulfing candle that the trend will continue upward. Then I'd enter the trade, set my stop loss slightly below the lows of the pullback at old resistance and my take profit at the most recent resistance level on the weekly time frame, which is this blue line here at about We'll say 1.24. Yeah, we'll say 1.24. Two.